Welcome, everybody. I am John Salazar. I'm the founder and CEO of Gazelle Wind Power. In a very short time, we've been able to position Gazelle among the top technology providers for floating offshore wind platforms and project co-developers. And this is namely because of three reasons. Number one is the potential bankability of our solution. Number two is the, the risking process that we've done with companies like DMB end-to-end. -end. At this stage, Gazelle technology works and we are thinking all the way to industrialization. Number three, and that, last but not least, is the formidable group of partners, investors that we've been putting together. Floating offshore wind is said to be one of the next uh, large markets. And here in Scotland, there was a big, big date on the 7th of February uh, with the Scott Wind lease. Based on very, very conservative figures, uh, based on DMB, uh, 264 gigawatt by 2050, a total addressable market of over 500 billion. Now, the key message here is uh, that part where in Gazelle we are focused on, which is the moorings and the platforms, accounts for over 33% uh, of this total addressable market. Uh, Gazelle owns all proprietary technology um, in order to address these problems. Now, most of the, most of the solutions that you may have seen uh, for floating offshore wind, they are a combination of, of these three. They can be either semi-submersibles, tensile platforms, or SPAR. There is an inherent problem in size on this solution. The way to, uh, to, to make this very simple, ladies and gentlemen, what we are seeking to do in floating on wind is to do uh, wind turbines floating on very rough seas that can be as tall as the Eiffel Tower. They can be as tall as 250 uh, meters for the latest wind turbine 15 megawatt designs. In order to address that, the problem, most of the solutions out there, they're seeking to use significant amount of steel, significant, significant amount of concrete in order to provide that flotability and stability. As a result, as um, some of the uh, lovely gents from the audience was pointing out before, there is not a clear winner out there yet. What we're doing at Gesell is significantly, significantly different. We are separating the flotability and the stability and as a result of that, uh, we aim to achieve capex reductions in excess of 30 percent, significant, imp significant impacting to the level cost of electricity. That's where our, our clients, global, global energy developers, that's what they are looking for. I will not elaborate on this uh, slide in detail. We have there a stand M60, but uh, Gazelle technology works. The principle is patented, belongs to our company 100 percent. And at this stage, we are all thinking about industrialization. We are all thinking about creating the teams with that operational excellence in order to achieve this in time. Of course, very, very aligned to sustainability development goals 13 and 7 for, for climate action change and clean and affordable energy. Not just, base, not, not just that, per gigawatt installed, we aim to reduce 275 kilotons uh, based on the amount still. As a consequence of that separation of flotability and stability, uh, we aim to reduce uh, significantly the amount, of, the amount of steel. We use one third of the steel of our main competitor. In a very short time, the last 15 months, we've been able to raise over 30 million dollars. We are now raising additional 7.5 million euros, uh, 6 million euros commitment uh, at this point, and 1.5 million euros in soft commitments that we want to raise before the summer ends. Now, the uh, Gazelle, all the innovation, all the R&D started back in, in 28, and in, an industrial project started uh, in, in December 2020. The reason of, the, of this race is uh, to do uh, our next uh, big important milestone, which will be a two megawatt power, power plant in the Canary Islands, increasing to PRL 67, and heading all the way towards project finance, as uh, the panelists were pointing out before, uh, scaling all the way towards uh, pre commercial projects, commercial projects. Uh, we put together a formidable consortium with companies like DMB, Vestas, MERS, Supply Service, Pride on Beckard. If you add all the market cap of these companies, it's worth in excess 100 billion euros, as well as significant leadership to our board of directors. Our chairman is Dr. Javier Cavada. He is the CEO of Mitsubishi Power. We have, just to mention a few names, Ms. Connie Hedegaard, former Minister of Energy and Industry from Denmark, David Mesonero, former CFO from Siemens Gamesa. You can learn more about our board of directors and senior management at gasenwillpower.com. And last but not least, we are a very light, agile company with a very low burn rate, uh, focusing on licensing our technology to global energy developers, major oil and gas, uh, top EPCAs, 
And as I said before, uh, we are missing 1.5 million euros in order to do that pilot project in the Canary Islands by the summer of 2024. And uh, some of our investors, some of public information, are leading investors in the, in the linear transition. Thank you very much for your attention. Very keen to engage in further discussion today. Thank you.